Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some animation errors in Elmo in Grouchland. Yeah, I know Sesame Street doesn't usually make mistakes, but in Elmo in Grouchland 2012 movie, they, um, they definitely made some mistakes in there. That's what we're going to be looking at today. So, we're going to take a look at five of them. Number, here's number one. At the ending credits. So, when we take at the, when we look at the Bert and Ernie ending credits, let's take a look at their, when they look at their, the credits they see. Look, they, look at, it's supposed to look like, look, Now let's take a look at number two. Not the part where Elmo gets his blanket back. Doesn't look doesn't look torn, but when we go back to the beginning, where Elmo and Zoe rip their blank his blanket, it looks torn. Like, come on, how did the bad guys fix the blanket? Like, bad guys can't fix blankets. They just break them even more. Like. That's an animation error right there. Come on. Yeah. The blanket looks perfect. Like, come on! Like, did the bad guys use tape? Did they have tape around to fix the blanket for Elmo? Like, come on! Bad guys can't fix it. Now let's go on to the let's go on to number three. Number four. Now I now this is going fast, so I can change the number from five to ten. Let's so let's take a look at number chapter seventeen. In the previous shot of that chapter, looks like. Wearing a black shirt, 
with the red book. And when we go to the next shot, he's wearing different clothes. Like, what? His clothes magically changes! Like, that's an animation error! Like, Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play that scene for you. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play each animation errors at the at the end. Or at least show you or at least show you thumbnails. Some like chapter 20 it looks like it's getting dark like come on like how did they forget to make that part daytime there's another animation error in it like Elmo's feet is missing Like you're supposed to see Elmo's face. Let's take a look. I am at Let's take a look at number six. Grizzly. Look, come on. So that be Elmo can prove that Snowy can is his friend too. Like, come on. That's an animation error. Like, how did nobody catch that except me? How can you? <sighs> come on. Like, that's so easy to notice. Like, come on. It's something you can notice with your ears. Come on, like, Tally's not this 
thumb in two frames. Like, come on, like, come on. This should be, it could, like, come on. How could nobody notice that? Like, like, I noticed that. How did I notice that? Like, am I genius or something? I don't know, but let's go on to number seven. So wait, let's take a look when Joey comes. Go sit on the bench. And the, then the previous shot. The left. The left thumb was blue. But then in the second shot, it turned purple. Like, come on! How did Sesame Street not notice that? The right one was the, was the same, so check mark them. Check mark on the right one. Thumbs down on the left one. Like, come on! That's an animation error that you missed in Elmo and Grouch Land. to number mm, number seven. Like, what's the thing when Elmo has has to wake up? He just he doesn't he has clothes like right up to here. But then let's look at the next shot. Sesame Street. Now I hope I don't. Now I hope Sesame Street doesn't get angry. Instead, they fix. I hope Sesame Street fix, fix, fixes these. Fix, fixes the Fix. Will fix these mistakes soon. Let's hope together. Don't get angry, Sesame Street. You can, it's very easy to fix. Don't worry, Sesame Street. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. Let's look. Let's look back at the intro. I think full entertainment of the Columbia statue. It looks much different from the intro from the intro before the movie starts. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> That's number eight, by the way. Like, come on, that happened. Like, come on. How can Sesame Street miss? How could Columbia miss that? <laughs> That's not a Sesame Street mistake. So, so, good job, Sesame Street. For But, but then, in 2014, they, Sesame Street fixed it. So, good job, Sesame Street. I liked your idea to fix that. To, yeah, I like your idea to fix that. Because in 2012, it looked like it was, it looked like it was not good. Looks like it was much different. But now it looks normal. Like, like good, so good job, Sesame Street, I guess. I don't know who fixed that mistake. It probably has been Sesame Street. Or maybe Little Billy has fixed it. Like, maybe good job, Sesame Street, or Little Billy has. Comment down below if you. If you know who fixed it. Let's look now let's go to number nine. Now this one is a thing you never noticed. Like 
there is a snake. There are two tin snakes. When Elmo had to wake up, like, how did nobody notice that? Like, how? How? I didn't notice that before. And then the snake was actually attached to a dinosaur. Like, come on. How did nobody notice that? Comment down below if you, if you noticed that. Because I don't know if you noticed that. I bet nobody noticed that. Except me. And it was a dead dinosaur. Come on. Come on, man. It's normally not fair, but they start to add Is it a mistake, or did they want to add something extra? Uh, which one? Let, let me know in the comments if you know. If you know. If it was a mistake, or the snake attached to the dinosaur is, is new to set Elmo's house. Like, let us know in the comments. TV turned off. The TV let me do eight out of ten animation errors. And also some things that you never noticed in it. In the movie. There's comment down below if I missed anything and Make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to Good Video 6. Give and give me some good ideas on YouTube because I don't want to get a community guideline straight. I almost got one once. Almost got one once, but but I got lucky. I, I just, I didn't get one. It was just a little warning. Um, That was because nobody wanted to give me some ideas like come on come on you all are you turning into bad guys like are you turning life into bad things like, come on you know better come on you know better than to give me a community guideline strike because i like to upload videos like come on come on guys you know better yeah, that that part was just a reminder. Oh, oh, I actually wanted to play those clips in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the very next video. Peace out.